Well, YouTube, another video of a house here in Dayton. View. This is on Faulkner, right off of Riverview. One of many that is falling apart into ruins here. And we're going to get a look at this house here on the inside of it here. This is just one of many houses that have continued to fall apart in what was once a really nice neighborhood here in the city. This one's definitely beyond the point of repair it. Definitely is a tear down. I'm not going to go down in the basement, but we have so many of these houses all over the city. There's an old steam pipe right here. It's just one of many houses that old electrical too that are just falling apart here in the city. I don't know if this one's been on fire. I haven't seen any indication of that, but the city's in major distress right over there. Another abandoned house back of that alley. But yeah, while the city wants to talk about all this fluff with downtown, you got homes like this that once upon a time, they would have been nice homes for families here. Then you've got, you know, all they care about is downtown. They don't care nothing about this. And this at one point in time, was one of the nicest neighborhoods in the city. And now you just look at the ruins of it. The garage behind here is burned out. Address was 717 Faulkner Avenue, right at Riverview School over there, Dayton Leadership Academy. So it's... It's time that the city leaders, you know, get called out on this mess. You know, and there's many reasons why these houses, you know, went underwater. When the more upscale people moved out of here, I don't care whether they were white, black, Latino, or whoever the heck they were. When we experienced white flight and a lot of these homes became rentals, and even when somebody owned them, these houses were no different than a rental house, essentially. Because people were buying, people were allowed to buy these houses with, you know, no down payment and bad credit. And you wonder where the problem started at. And that's where it started at. There's the back of it. Tell another lot, a couple lots here where, where I'm sure there used to be houses at here. And uh, this is the result of just economic depression, lack of investment, poor schools, too many rentals versus owners not having stable families and this is the result that we get for it so I just thought I'd make this the second house I've shown like this but that's it for this one